If someone says Ibiza, you think party. Ibiza is the place you want to go if you want to stay up all night and be just wild, crazy and have fun. A lot. But is there anything else Ibiza can offer that isn't a party? I think I'm getting old, mm, yeah, because I have totally no mood for parties in Ibiza. <laughs> the last couple of weeks was pretty mental, I had big projects at work, after work was also quite busy, so basically I just came here with this plan to just chill, relax and, and yeah, and give you some nice ideas for a quiet time in Ibiza. Behind all the great nightlife Ibiza can offer, the island is filled with history, amazing beaches, crystal blue water, great food and a lot of amazing tourist attractions. Before we start visiting different places in Ibiza, please subscribe my channel for more videos like this. If you don't know me, hello, I'm Bartosz and I just started my YouTube channel. Would be great if you could subscribe, let me know that you're watching by writing a comment and share this vlog with others. That's it, no more adverts. I will start my uh, no party guide with visiting one of the top destinations in Ibiza, Ibiza town. I feel like Ibiza town needs little introduction. With a reputation of a party city, you might think there is nothing else to do here rather than party, drink and dance all night. But Ibiza town is much more than that. The island's capital is vibrant, eye-catching, intriguing. You'll find a great selection of small boutiques, high-end fashion stores, world-class restaurants, great art galleries and of course amazing architecture and gorgeous natural scenes. When I do city breaks I just like walking around and explore without much planning but this time I booked Ibiza free walking tour to learn something more about this beautiful city. Free of charge guided tour is an awesome way of getting to know a city. In Ibiza town there are only a few tours available, mostly in Spanish but also in English. In my opinion one of the biggest advantage of free walking tour is that I don't have to plan much. All I have to do is to turn up to the meeting point and my local guide will take care of the rest. I have just received a message from my tour guide that the free walking tour is cancelled because I was the only person who wanted to do the tour actually. Oh, that, that sucks. In that case I will guide myself because no holiday to Ibiza would be complete without exploring the island's famous Dalbia, which is old town, rich in cultural and historic artifacts and as a result has been named as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Interesting fact is that much of the architecture and layout of the area has remained untouched since it was built in the 1600s. Unsurprisingly, with its long history, Ibiza town has many museums and art galleries, as well as eateries and gift shops selling crafts made by local people, historic walls, a cathedral, a monastery, and of course, Ibiza is still home to the Catalan castle. My last stop in an old town is Ibiza Castle. Of course, the castle is on the top of the hill. <sighs> Wish me luck. I walked, taking my time to take all the views from different levels. It's actually a fair walk from bottom to top and back again. And it took me a couple of hours, but I made a lot of stops for photos and of course ice cream. I would recommend doing it on a clear day as the views were just amazing or wait for the sunset. Okay, enough about visiting Ibiza town. So what else you can do in Ibiza if not partying? The answer is pretty obvious. Eat. From the typical Spanish seafood paella and delicious tapa streets to locally sourced products, you would be crazy if you don't try amazing traditional local food. The presence of world-class chefs 
who run the restaurant kitchens in Ibiza, has made this place a perfect stop for foodie people like me. And surprisingly, Ibiza is also a great relaxing place to recharge batteries. I'm here in Ibiza to, to take a break, charge my batteries, unplug for a moment. And after I feel like very, very long winter. So, so yeah, I'm just happy to be here and be able to see places like this. I have to say it's still surprisingly cold in April that's why now I'm in San Antonio for morale hunting rather than exploring the nature. One of the many things you can do in San Antonio is to look for the amazing murals and all kind of art expression. The main goal of that initiative is to bring art to everybody under the blue skies of San Antonio, reflect on current social issues through art while enjoying the time in Ibiza. Before going on holiday, I also recommend just to quickly check Airbnb experiences because you might find very interesting activities there, in-person activities there, and sometimes very affordable. From sailing to Fort Montera on a beautiful catamaran, taking part in a yoga class in a secret cave, to visiting capital on bikes. Ibiza is extremely vacation-worthy even if you're not a party animal, there is a plenty of things to enjoy here, plenty of amazing places, plenty of amazing experiences waiting for you here. I had really nice time in Ibiza and might come back here one day. So yes, this is how I spent my short and quiet holiday in Ibiza. If you have any other recommendations, places to see, please let me know in the comment sections below. And for now, thank you very much for watching. Until next time.